Excited. Uh, I'm, I'm, and I said I was very proud of, of this team, especially with you know, maybe a, a lack of response. It was, it was a difficult setting up at Syracuse, and uh, they played extremely well. But again, I didn't, didn't think we responded when we were, you know, punched, punched, and we blinked. We backed up, and, and tonight we did. We stayed with it, and guys were great in the huddle. Guys were, were, were communicating, uh, protecting each other, uh, and that's a step forward with this team. Coach. You know, it's too early for the first half. You haven't seen it yet. But talk about that first half and what you saw in that first half that you can kind of keep in, in uh, for the rest of the year. Look at that first half no matter what happens. Certainly would like to bottle that first half. It, it, what it came down to was stops, rebounding the first, you know, rebounding the miss, finishing the possession, and now allowing our, our, our players. We're very good. We're good in transition. And uh, in the second half, we just didn't get enough stops to, to get out in transition. Uh, you know, we had a couple of steals at the end to, to help us, but, uh, you know, that's how I want to play. I want to play aggressive man-to-man -man defense or, or zone and, and get out and run. And, and uh, when we get stops, we can do that. Mike, what went into the decision to flip-flop uh, Jerome and Eli? Uh, Eli helped me out with, with kind of some violations of team rules. Nothing serious, but again, uh, boy, I'm going to have to look at it more because he does add a scoring punch. And Jerome added us, gave us a toughness, uh, defensive toughness on the floor. And so... Uh, um, it was nothing, you know, it wasn't a, I really wish I say we, we, we thought hard about it and studied it and crunched the numbers, but no, it was just, you know, minor rule violation. Do you think you'll stick with that? Uh, I'll have to look at it. I'll have to look at it. Uh, you know, he's going to play his minutes. He's going to, he's going to get his shots. Uh, that, that may change over the next couple of weeks. Did you like though the, the kind of what he brought to you guys off the bench? He certainly brings a punch to us. Uh, you know, in that 17, 16, 15 minute mark, guys starting to get tired. The opposing team starting to get a little winded. Now he comes in and does what he does. Uh, so we'll look at it. Is that the end in terms of discipline for Eli for yes. Tim Ross? Yes. Yes. Mike, uh, Jerome's had a sort of an up and down year. Um, this, it seemed like he finally found himself in some capacity, whether it was you know, controlling the offense, you know, running things through him. Did that kind of almost work in a benefit for you, throwing him in there and having him sort of blossom like that? He needed a wake-up call. And I thought at Syracuse game, even though he might not have played with tremendous purpose, he was an animal in, in the huddles. He was aggressive. He was, uh, he was a leader. Uh, he was our emotional leader in, at Syracuse. Uh, and it just so happened, some things happened where it allowed him to uh, start today, and he responded. Uh, I thought he was tremendous defensively, a tremendous in the huddles, and he does, you know, and it gives, he also gives Miles a chance to get off the ball and, and, and run some more plays for Miles. Mike, they shot a decent from three during the non conference schedule, but it seemed like you wanted them to take a lot of threes. I think their strength is in the paint, uh, and I think that's, you know, that's always been Jamie's formula, uh, and so we, we had to do a good. We had to do a job in the paint. Whether it was uh, finishing possession, not allowing them to live, and, and Dante and all uh, Taylor. God, is he tall? Is he going to be good once he puts on some muscle? But uh, certainly, defending the paint was was our first priority. What did you think of uh, Dan's behind the head pass there? Again, that's what seniors do. And uh, yeah, but I've loved the fundamental step through play lower than defense, of course. But that fired our team up and. Uh, you know, I appreciated his response today, and uh, he controls how much energy he brings, and uh, I think he's doing more consistent job with, with bringing that energy. You think well, that was a, a big play, Mike? I mean, it was a two-point game there. And yeah, it was a huge play. And it, it, you just saw, again, we were good with our response and our body language, but that really gave us some confidence. That was, that was one of those, those plays that uh, gave our guys some batteries.